Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Tobin and I'm here to present the work that I've been doing with Dr. Sean McGlynn this summer. I do apologize in advance due to time constraints. I won't be able to explain everything in the detail that I want, but hopefully I can give you the general idea. So we've been studying genomic phylogenies and origins of life. We've had a couple different projects in the works, but the uh, key points are here. This is a database from Dr. Sean McGlynn's uh, recent publication. Uh, of interest is the number of splits that the algorithm IQ tree was able to provide for these COGS, which stands for clusters of orthologous genes. Um, and from that, we wanted to compare the uh, calculated split value with a split value that we came up with using this equation seen on your screen. Um, we wanted to see how those two compared and if we were able to notice any trends. So for the majority of the COGS here, they are not conserved and not paralogous, um, but there are a few in red um, that are of interest. They're both conserved and paralogous, meaning that the groups of genes are found, in, uh, in, it, are found ubiquitously um, across archaea and bacteria and paralogous, meaning that there are occasions of gene duplication. Now, we also took a look at the genomes themselves and how many times they were used in these COGS. Um, and what we found is that the, uh, the genomes that were used the most are the ones that are actually studied most in science. And so the uh, genome most used, in fact, was E. coli. Now, we assembled a COG list or a candidate list of COGS, um, which we are going to be using in the future um, to run through a network expansion analysis to better understand early metabolic functions and to determine which metabolic functions or reactions were even possible three and a half billion years ago. Um, we are going to essentially combine what we believe are the uh, environmental conditions of the planet three and a half billion years ago, along with these genes to see how metabolism uh, during the origin of life uh, took place. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm looking forward to more work with Dr. McGlynn in the future.